Okay, this relates to the transformer experiments that people are doing, including myself. And this is about rock power and the way that a simple rock can change the properties of the transformer circuit uh, for the better as well. Here's the circuit that I'm using. Uh, it's a little bit strange, it's upside down, back to front, probably all the rest. I've got the collector going to the 120 volt side and returning straight to the base from the 12 volt side. We've got an LED across the emitter and collector. And the rock goes on the collector, not on the base, which you might imagine, for base resistance changes. Well, here we are with the circuit running without a rock. And you can see the clip lead going directly to the yellow wire. And that's the output, which is pretty lacklustre from the 0.7 volts and 70 microamps. I've only got a small piece of copper in there, and that brings the amperage right down. And as you can see, there's well that's the flash rate and that's the brightness so you can call it bright so now I'll show it instead with a rock at that point there and here we are with this one connected as you can see the flash rate is slightly faster and the brightness is much improved now rocks electrically conductive it came from a box of quartz rocks they got from a shop some time back uh, what may be easier to replicate is a piece of Fool's Gold, which I'll now show running. And there we go, the flash rate's improved again. It's still a lot brighter than the original output. I just thought this is really strange how connecting to the collector and into the 120 volt side via the rock, which has got a kind of diamond symbol, um, improves the running. Okay, thanks for watching.